What is this thing called exploit database and why do hackers use it? This is called exploit database and it's used by ethical hackers and penetration testers. It is a open source vulnerability database maintained by offensive security. And right above me, I've just highlighted what it actually is. You can find variations of like exploits made in Python, Ruby, even Golang, any programming language associated to a flaw or a vulnerability, you can basically copy these variations and actually test these exploits against certain pieces of software, certain software, versions of software that may actually be vulnerable to it. Let's give in a scenario. I'm an ethical hacker. I find a vulnerability. By doing a MAP scan, I can see all the versions of software that's associated with it on the server, a server. I can see at the top where we got FDP 2.3.4. Let's go to the exploit DB database website to search up this version of software to see if we can find an exploit for it. VS FTP at the top there, and we've got a list of exploits here. We've got remote code execution exploits. Um, actually, no, it's actually denial of service. This one's remote backdoor command execution. Here we've got a bunch of DOS attacks. We, we don't want to do that. Uh, down here is associated with the versions that we had took a look at in our terminal. So we got, what is this, 2.3.4. So if you go back to your MAP scan, we can see that is the version, 2.3.4. And on the website here, we've got a backdoor command execution vulnerability in this FTP software for 2.3.4. So what does this mean? Okay, well, let's click on it. And we can see here, this is literally the exploit for it. This is just a exploit made in Ruby. This is not Python, this is Ruby. It's kind of similar syntax, by the way. Uh, but yeah, Ruby is also a good language. It doesn't really matter. But what does matter is the modules being used. Now, there's nothing wrong with using exploit DB. But just remember, please read the exploits. Please actually read through the code so you can un actually understand it and understand what it's doing. And by the way, if you're on Linux, you don't actually need to go to the website itself because in Kali Linux, there's a tool called Searchploit. You've probably seen it. Maybe you've even used it. That's actually the exploit DB database, but it's actually a tool version so that you can actually use it in your terminal, which is very cool. So you can actually see here, you can still search for that version that you're looking for for a particular exploit. Just by typing in search sploit, you're searching for an exploit associated with something that you might find in a MAP result. I hope you learned something.